Hi everyone and welcome to the third in the series of the LSN Ask the Expert videos. I'm Anita Wallace, Chair of the Lymphedema Support Network and I'm delighted today to introduce you to the LSN's nurse advisor, Denise Hardy, who runs a very busy practice in uh, Kendall and uh, she's very, very experienced. So I'm delighted that she's agreed to come on with us and uh, we'll get going on the questions. The next question, Denise, is um, you hear and read so much about arm and leg lymphedema, but do you have any tips for those people who live with abdominal swelling? Hmm. I, I think generally if you have abdominal swelling, it's usually alongside um, a limb swelling as well, usually anyway. Um, and so it can be just an extension of that arm or that leg swelling, but or certainly leg swelling. Um, but and the same principles apply in, 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 in my case, I think. Um, but I would always go back, as, as I say, for most things is going back to assessment and the reason that that swelling is there. For example, if it is an isolated um, symptom, then why is it there? Um, so looking at the cause um, and determining why, why it's there. If we can do that, we can then be more successful in the management of it. So I think, you know, learning about what it is, why it's there and educating um, our patient into that is helpful because again, it is a chronic condition and it ain't going to go away on the whole. So um, for me, an explanation into um, why it's there and what you can do about it is really helpful. And yes, I think sometimes it is ignored because you know, certainly if you go to your doctor um, and, and they, they look at your lymphedema, they don't tend to undress you and look beyond the arm or the leg. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes it does get missed. It's the same as genital swelling or breast edema, for example. And we see a lot of that, too, which has gone undiagnosed because somebody hasn't actually um, explored what's going on. Beyond yes, the, yes, the leg. yes. So, it's, so it's, it's down to the patient to, to you know, point it out. Absolutely. It's really yes. Nice. Because unless we actually know about it, you know, no, you can't help. Mm. Most of us in lymphedema, we will be looking at that and we'll be seeing how far the lymphedema extends into because that um, tends to alter the treatment. So, for example, if somebody has got abdominal swelling or pelvic swelling, as well as a leg swelling, it's better to treat the abdominal uh, pelvic swelling first before the leg. Because if you just try and make the leg smaller, you're just going to push that fluid mm. to an already congested area. And how so, would you tackle that abdominal swelling then? Well, it's literally, as I say, very, very similar. So the skin care comes into play because, again, just like an edema in a leg, you have got a lot of, a lot of lymph fluid accumulating in that area, which potentially is a risk for infection. So mm -hmm. keeping the skin in really good condition is so important. Okay. And if the ab abdominal swelling is large and protrudes, we often call it an apron, um, because if you look at it front on, the, the tummy is so large that yes. it's called like an apron over the thighs. And they're in, often in patients who are very obese. Um, so the, the, the fluid can actually um, uh, build up in the very bottom of that apron. Um, and then it becomes can appear to be quite knobbly and, and lymph blisters can occur. So keeping the skin in tip top condition is really, really important, okay. just as it is on an arm or a leg. So treating yeah. that first yeah. thing. And what about compression? Is there some compression? Yeah, absolutely, compression, just the same as an arm or a leg. You need to try and support that swelling. So it's finding something that, that's often big enough to go around that area. So. In the first instance, I always try a bandage. Again, it's looking in the intensive phase of treatment is the best way of dealing with that in is my experience anyway. So bandaging the area will more quickly um, reduce that swelling in that particular area. Um, but there are garments that are available too. So uh, there are lots of wraps that we can use. Um, there are um, shorts that we can have made. Um, there are lots of made to measure garments that we can we can use cycle shorts as well or another option. But mm. anything you can think of which actually delivers support as opposed to huge compression um, is really helpful. Right. Lymph drainage, too. 
Um, obviously, we want to try and move that fluid from a congested area to an area where there is no swelling. So demonstrating how to do that themselves uh, to a patient is, is, is helpful. Um, we use a lot of kinesio taping. We haven't mentioned that to date, but kinesio taping is something that, again, can help move fluid in, in areas on the trunk much more successfully than uh, on an arm or a leg. Exercise too, again, um, moving, sti stimulating the drainage in those areas um, can be uh, just as, uh, as important. And of course, weight management is the other key, because if that um, uh, abdominal swelling is due to the patient being overweight as well, then reducing that weight is going to be ever helpful. So there's a combination of things, again, that yeah. is helpful for yeah. those patients. Yeah, yeah. But it can be so, and that's assuming you have a practitioner um, you've been able to access a practitioner. Are there any tips for anybody who is struggling on self-management? Yeah, I, I, again, it, it is, you know, drawing on those principles that... Yes. You no, know, so it's a difficult one. If, if you haven't got a therapist, I think... Yes. One of the things that, that the, again, the LSN is, is great at is that specific questions where patients are really struggling with, those specifics can be directed to me or one of the other medics and we can give certain advice to help them um, so that's always another option if if they haven't got a clinic and they just need some general advice we're always happy to try and help guide patients in that particular way yeah. um, so they can always come to us in, in that instance or you know just a telephone call is is all that it takes but generally it's not well documented um, about abdominal swelling no uh, so yeah, it's, it's perhaps something that we can do a little bit more on and, and perhaps we need to, to look at, I think we've done truncal edema, but not perhaps specified so much on abdominal swelling. I don't know, perhaps we have to. The LSN doesn't have a huge amount of information, so I'm grateful to the person who has raised this and it's something then we perhaps need to look into some more and provide some more information. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Denise.